Hello everybody, welcome back to more Astro Narc. We are going to be trying Corruption Level 2 here. Uh, it, it should be, we get the whole, you know, penalty of the first one, which is normal enemies have more HP. I think it's something like 10%. Level 2 makes it so we start with zero gold. I don't remember how much gold we even start with, so I don't know how much big of a difference that's, how big of a difference that's really going to make. Uh, but it might, who knows? Alas! We are absolutely going to be using the Outlaw, our new character, today. The first time you're reduced below 50% max HP, redirect any enemies targeting you to their next target, heal for 15% max HP, and gain hidden. So it's kind of... Uh, it's, it seems like a pretty decent off-tank kind, of kind of a character, so we can take a little bit of a brunt of damage, and then shuffle the, uh, the aggro back to another, another tank that maybe makes more sense. But alas, that's that. We'll definitely bring in you. Uh, the act ability is deal 100% attack damage and poison your target for 50% of your attack damage every three seconds. So that really strikes me as like, let's bring in the alchemist at the very least to get that duplicated. Because if we have catalyst working and duplicate three random poison effects and one of the poison effects is toxic bolt, that's huge. That is huge stuff. So we're going to go with that, and then we need a more traditional tank. I'm thinking probably uh, probably the Gladiator. Probably the Gladiator. And then we'll maybe move in with the, uh, the Assassin in the future. Maybe we'll bring in the Cleric. But for now, let's begin our adventure at Corruption Rank 2 here. Uh, okay, so... We've been increasing defense. I think that's definitely not a bad idea. But I'm going to go with the uh, the old attack there. Maybe, actually, you know what? Someday I want to do cooldown. We could even uh, go back and just uh, do it again. And we could do cooldown instead. Should we try that? Let's try that. I, it's, uh, it's, it's easy enough to just go in. I mean, if we know what uh, set of units we want to use anyways, we'll just take them and go womp. Womp, womp. There we go. We've done it. All right. So let's try that. Let's try that out because the active ability for these two will function very well together, and we've never tried that. So as far as healing wounds go, it's not as big of a deal today. Uh, outlaw. We've got the ruins. You just target some mana against them. Eh. I feel like we're not really necessarily hard countered by any of these in particular. Uh, actually, I think I think we want the outlaw to be attacked first because it's basically just free damage, right? Like he gets reduced below fifty percent, and it's annoying. But then we just switched our target up to uh, to you. Yeah, see, look at that. That works out amazingly. Okay. We do want just, like, raw attack damage on the Outlaw, I think. Because we want... When that poison gets duplicated, we want it to be massive. Absolutely massive. Your attacks steal 1 MP. 10 starting MP and attack. We also do want to make sure... Ideally, that the Toxic Bolt goes off before the Alchemist's attack. So, you know what? That actually sounds like a really good start. Now that I think about it, and your attack steal one MP, same same deal here. Let's let's go for that. We we could go, boom. We do that, and then it gets duplicated from four effects. I mean, that should be some pretty extraordinary damage. I would one would maybe think, right? Okay. Attacks increase your speed. I mean, that's a maybe. Oh, okay. I mean, he also is he's going to be using his active first anyways, but still. Do we want him to have more speed? Like, yeah, it's helpful. It's certainly helpful. Steal one MP from attackers. Get the... Uh, sure, Let, let's... Let, we'll get it. We'll even actually probably put that on the Alchemist, because having that speed up over time, I think, is going to be a useful thing. Gain Viscous Goo to lose a random item. You know what? I'm curious. Sure. Attackers have a 20% chance to be disarmed. Oh. 
Sure. We'll put it on you <coughs> you first. We'll maybe move it over to the gladiator. Receive an upgraded item. All heroes bleed uncontrollably. Receive an upgraded item. Reduce healing. Lose four morale. Fine. Let's bleed uncontrollably. Why, why the hell not, right? <laughs> Let's just bleed uncontrollably. See, because the thing is, if we want our ability to uh, duplicate random poison effects, we kind of don't want the alchemist to be attacking that fast. It's kind of a weird, com weird kind of situation. So we're gonna we'll, we'll rock this for now because if if the poison that is on the enemies gets duplicated and it's this just the stinky stuff, then. Oh, I just realized the outlaw is probably going to get popped because of the bleed. You know what? Let's just go for it anyway. We're, here we go. We get the uh, the active poison is off. It got negated, though. Okay. All right. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all dandy. Thank God for this healing over time. We lost one. That's fine. That could have been so much worse. 10 attack and gain immunity to disarm. I mean, sure. Right? We'll get that. We also get the liquid courage. Okay, so we... We could do that. And starting MP, you get the... I mean, like, I would like this more if it did not have the speed on it in a weird way. But it's good because he's also our support unit. I think that we just say, okay, basically. Your attacks reduce your target's attack by two for ten seconds. Poison your target. I mean... Okay. Poison your target every three seconds. And... Okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. So we'll get him poisoned. Like, I don't like this, but then he's going to hopefully switch off the target. I just want to see how this goes. Hopefully that swap at 50% is good enough. It's uh, it's sketchy. It's very sketchy. That poison over time is a little... Yeah, it's a little too much. It's a little too much. Understandably so. Uh, Let's get the Impaler. We'll swap this over here and we will go for that. We will try out a couple elite battles here. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I like this way better. I don't believe he has any adjacent attacks. No. Uh, poison your target and unadjacent enemy. I mean, okay. So I guess we do this. I do. I guess we do the same thing, and we just kind of hope that that poison is not as bad this time. Uh, here we go. Or hopefully, we when we hit that fifty percent. Okay. It's a pretty extreme poison. But he's living. Hey, this is a, it's this is a good strategy. Uh we need a little bit of more pep <laughs> in uh, the outlaw's step, I think, but then we're going to be okay after that. Gain more mana per second. All right, we we go for this, right? 10 starting MP. I mean, yeah, the, the, the weird thing is we want the Alchemist to cast second. Like, I want that. Your tax. Oh, wait. Oops, wrong one. Pocket sand. Remove. Oh, it also removes a random negative effect. Honestly, that's huge. And heal for 30% max HP. That's huge. That's huge. That, that helps this current strategy, like, a lot. I really, I'm really a fan of this, uh, this situation here. Um, there's no reason for them not to be together. There's also no reason why they have to be together. That's, that's a nice thing, is, is that none of our buffs have to do with adjacency. The minor blessing is a random hero. It doesn't need to be a random adjacent hero. Uh, yeah, there's, there's really no, no issues there. Okay, here it comes. We go for the poison, and then we duplicate said poison from seven effects. I mean, you know, tis what tis. 
Oh, that, that piercing damage, though. All right. 30% chance to apply frost. I think we got to get that full plate armor and put it on you there. So this active ability, 100% of your attack damage for three seconds. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy there. Pretty darn crazy. When you're knocked out, you continue fighting for four seconds. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, Royal Arbalist, I I am definitely a fan. I, I like the idea of Royal Arbalist if we can pick up two or maybe even three Royal Arbalists because it's good to attack the backline first in a lot of scenarios, but at the same time... Uh, I just realized we didn't even shuffle anything around there. At the same time... If you can't take them out, it's not its not necessarily better to split your damage. So I, I would like it, but I would like it more if I knew that I was going to get two. I want to see what some of these upgrades look like. Immune to disarm and stuns. That's actually really big. I did not realize that's what that was going to do. Uh, 20 attack and all of your damage is dealt as if the enemy has 30 less defense. That does not matter for the poison. It's literally just for the actual attacks. 20 starting MP and 10 attack... 40% chance, attacks have a 40% chance to be disarmed. Does that go up to 60%? At max upgrade? That seems bonkers. I'm going to give myself the extra damage and the immunity to the stun there. Uh, all enemies burn. What's your attack damage? I mean, 150. You have a better attack damage multiplier. But I guess if we put this on you and then you duplicate your own poison, it's it makes it less bad. It's five damage instead of four. <laughs> I mean, you know. That makes a big difference, though. It, it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's an absolute large amount. All right. Another elite. You better believe it. Immune to stun and disarm applies... Okay, it's nothing to do with adjacency either there. Works for me. Does he have negate? He has one negate, so the negate is gone. And now that poison is guaranteed to be duplicated. Oh, that damage is bonkers! And then the poison gets transferred so we don't even waste any. It's... Oh my god, this is so good. So good. Starting MP up and at the start of combat, gain a 150 shield. You know, it's certainly tempting. Hmm. Your attacks cause your target to bleed for an additional 30%. We could get that and, like, just truly build out the outlaw as a character who just shreds true damage. Attackers have a 25% chance to grant you a blessing as well. It's also tempting. Remove all negative effects and heal for 45%. That's so good! That is so good. I don't know why I'm even headed to the shop, though. What We got 100. We can't... We could sell a potion and this weapon to get another upgrade on something. And something... Some part of me wants to try. Pharaoh's Mark. Frost to random enemy every two seconds. I do like that. I don't care about Giant's Club for the outlaw. He's not a very healthy individual. He's not He's not an unhealthy individual. He's just not a particularly healthy individual. What What else would we What else would we sell? Oh, that's starting. Starting penalty to that HP there. Or to that uh, to that money is actually doing something. I guess we just hold off and we regret the fact that we even came here. 
We'll do one more fight, and then maybe we'll get enough money from this. Okay. This is actually perfect, because we'll take all that poison. We'll take all that poison right away. And then we will just get rid of it. Oh my god, that's such a good strat. Like, watch this. Cleansed all the poison. Just like that. Oh my god. The outlaw is so good. Okay, now we have 100. Let's see what we got. Disarm and stun. What is the final upgrade? And revenge. I mean, that's also good. I don't think we necessarily need to go for it. It would be for the actual... For that extra attack. Um... I'm gonna upgrade our viscous goo. I'm, I'm very excited by that prospect. Your attacks deal an additional 20 piercing damage to your target and all adjacent enemies. Any enemies have damaged by this item have a 20% chance to be stunned for one second. Wait. Oh, man. I, I know I should buy more things from the merchant. It's just, it's tough because of the fact that you get, you get so many items in this game. It's bizarre. You get so many items. It's fine. In fact, what if we make him take all of the damage and then we cleanse the bleed? Howl calls in a dire wolf. All right. Well, we're going to take some bleed. Oh, my God. That was brutal. The wolves historically... Ah, that was bad. Seem like they are one of the stronger units that we've run into. That didn't go well. After five times you attack, gain a negate. Hmm. Hmm. We could do that in a sense where we get we get that on you for now. We buff up yourself with hopefully getting one or two negates by the time the target will be actually attacking you. Your attacks apply ruin and bleed. It is an, uh, an annoying thing. Anything to do with adjacency? Okay. I think we just we just rock it. It's fine. And that's all cleansed, all good. Get another poison, dupe another set of poison. Look at that damage tick down. Look at that damage tick down. I guess the duplicated poison counts as an alchemist attack. Uh okay, what do we got here? Every nine times you attack deal 250% attack damage to all enemies apply a burn for 250% attack damage over 10 seconds. Start of combat, and when you use your active ability, gain a shield equal to 150% of your attack. That is some interesting things as well. Hmm. The first time you're reduced, remove all negative effects. Hmm. There's some weird juggling we could do with the bean. We could pick up that bean and then just like instead of, when you, instead of you dying or, or we switch at 50% and then instead of you dying you just transfer to somebody else. I don't know, that's remove all negative effects. That's super interesting. The outlaw is already pretty slippery. So I feel like the outlaw doesn't need the odd bean because he gains hidden. Every nine times you attack, deal 250% attack damage to all enemies apply burn. See, this is good, but we really do need... We don't need, but we want our attack damage from... We, we, we want raw attack damage stats up right now really, like really badly because of Toxic Bolt. We want each poison stack to be huge. And none of these actually uh, help us out with that. So I'm 
definitely, I, I've got to admit, I'm very confused about which one of these we even want. Maybe what we do is we consider who we're going to get. We could get the assassin. Let's get the assassin. It's also likely, or not even, not likely, it's very, very possible <laughs> that we get, uh, bring it here, that we get the nine attacks off with the assassin due to the fact that he is hidden. Oh, but he attacks with poison. Actually, I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, Warlock actually sounds good to me. Because he heals based off of attack damage. Uh, we can get him Ragnarok, and... You know what? That's my current thought. Let's get him, uh... Okay, we have to move first. Just checking. Anything else? We could we could bring in the Ronin, but I, I think we go with the, for the Warlock here. Uh, let's make... What did we get? I didn't... What? I just clicked once up there. What happened? What happened? Okay. Duplicates up to six. I mean, we could also do... I think maybe we do that. Guarantee. Duplicates up to six. No, let's make it so the actual damage itself is, is better for now. Your tax poison two random enemies for eight percent. Let's get you at a, a big old HP upgrade. How about that? All right. So people on the streets imbued with strong magical abilities stifle your healing. Eh, I don't like. I don't care that much. I don't think we're we have a good team because I feel like it's not necessarily hard countered by too much of anything. We are now in an annoying-ish spot where. Uh, we do have a unit that does rely on adjacency. So, let's, first of all, let's get you... We'll get you a Thor Ragnarok there. You're going to take all of that. Gain five. Disarm your target. We are immune to disarm. Ha-ha! Apply minor curse. I mean, we just go for it, right? Ah, he negated that. That's huge. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's some that's some damage. Okay. Um Ooh. Why did we take so much? Why did we take so much? Mm hmm. Hmm. Start of combat, gain twenty attack. I kind of like that. Because the initial poison is going to be really important. I'm, I'm going to go with that. But yeah, what's up with that? Shoot. Okay. That was... I mean, I guess it's because he's not that strong. Like, I guess he's not that strong. Yeah, same, same deal here. I think that this is how we rock this. It, it lets us kind of ignore the first... You are so frail. What the hell? Why are you so frail? Like, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm so confused why he's, like, taking as much. I know he's not strong, particularly. Uh, but... But, Wow. It's kind of, it's kind of nuts. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, he's just going to get stronger over time, I guess, but... Oh, we got it. Cool. Five times you attack, gain the gate. Uh, you know, I guess we'll give that to you. For now. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. All right. 
Hello there, frog boys. Deal additional damage to enemies without any adjacent. Definitely is this scenario. You have adjacent. Heal the weakest ally for 20% of the max HP. But we are going to be attacking different targets. Shoot. Uh, deal additional damage without adjacent. And you... Do that damage to any adjacent. Stun enemy hits. We are immune to stun. I... I feel like that's just what we do here. We got that divine. If need be. If things are looking a little sketchy, which they certainly are starting to. We pop it on. Come on. Come on. Warlock heal. Oh, your heals are not great, but we did it. We did it. Uh, okay, 28 damage. And your attacks have a 40% chance to deal. There's that Royal Arbalest where we should have. Eh. Let's get that there, though. Just higher raw attack there. We'll get up to the elite battle. Impaler. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, boy. It's the Grave Digger. No, I feel like I'm pretty satisfied with that. Okay, hoping that we do have the uh, outlaw do the most damage because, well, but he takes 640 damage. That's his entire health bar. Whoa. That is his entire health bar. All right, we, we nuke that. He's going to die. Yeah, I should have. I should have cast it up there. Oh, well. Increase your speed. 100 HP and increase your speed by 4% per second. I mean, I mean, that seems pretty fun. I feel like... <laughs> Let's do it. So, this is the passive. Permanently increase max HP. That's a huge HP increase. I think we do it. Okay, we do that. We head to the shop. Does this... Well, first of all, what's this? You're he you heal for 50% of your attack and of active ability damage. Ooh. D but really? Really? Even the duped? I'm so curious. I'm so curious. What does this do? Up to 40 attack for 6 seconds. I feel like that's important. I actually feel like that's really important. Due to the fact that the initial poison is huge. We're going to have to sell two potions. Should we do that? Uh, let's sell the imp Impaler. We get one more upgrade. 30% speed. 60. So that... I feel like... Yeah, the fact that we do 100... Because that initial poison... The first poison... Is what gets perpetuated in theory throughout the whole fight. Um, that's fine. Okay, here we go. All right, we're in there. That poison's getting duplicated. It's huge. It's huge! Oh, you piece of garbage at the last actual second. Wow. Wow. Um. I'd say it's either another pair of boots or. Hmm. Or some gold. Active ability. I think it is time to duplicate up to six. I do think that indeed. I would like some money from this event if we could swing it. Uh oh. Or all heroes gain a random lesser effect permanently. Reduce the cost of their active ability by five. All heroes gain eight attack. 
Okay, well, fine. This is this is more important. 50, 50 max HP and five defense. Sure, let's get that. Let's get that extra attack damage up in there, and then we can say uh, sayonara to the uh, the old shop there. Because why on earth would we care? All right. Uh, you do extra damage to allies without adjacent units. Okay. Oof. Okay, so we don't care about the shield, right? The poison goes through shield, doesn't it? Yep. All right. I mean, we're going to do what we can here. As long as we don't get, like, one shot, that's really it. We do take that free hit. That's awesome. Oh, let's definitely heal there. We do get... We got that ruin. That poison should get spread. Oh, boy. Oh, God, my butt is getting so freaking clenched. Enchanter's Chainmail. Immunity to burn. Oi, oi, oi. Let's do it. We're, we're, we're doing okay with fighting these elites. Oh, no. You piece of garbage. Well, every six seconds. So if we can go six seconds before we... Uh, Oh god, he's he's weak. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Yes! Oh, he's so dead. He's so dead. It doesn't even matter. Oh, we've done it. That 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 guy is so scary because he has literally an instant kill move if you don't kill him fast enough. So, I'm pretty satisfied with that outcome right there. Another passive orb. We are like we're getting absolutely stacked up on uh, on passives. Poison to two random enemies. See, I kind of want it for the, um, Blah. I want it for the two there. We could hold on to it. But, like, I don't, yeah, I don't want, I don't want his stacks of poison on the enemy. It, this is a weird scenario where we want, we don't want a lot of poison because we want this poison to be the poison your target and any okay and any adjacent enemies burn for 150 percent attack damage i mean you know if we can keep you alive which is not going to happen until they do their cast that would have been that'd be great yeah yeah okay look at that poison tick down though we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good uh, disarmed disarmed they can't attack good good stuff this is awesome this is like a really cute build here today <laughs> hmm unstable orb I mean this would be good if we if the uh, point of the outlaw was going to be like a just a big old sacrifice like he was going to just straight up die but he's not gonna die he just man don't die anything to do with adjacency no so i think we want to go for this situation because we're gonna spread it so we do take all these unnecessary hits for the others there we're good we're golden that heal needs to really come in. I'm, I'm doing it. Stay alive. Ow, oh, you piece. All right, what's fine? We live long enough to probably, yeah, I was going to say, to probably not lose any other unit. Your attacks reduce your target's defense. Your attacks deal additional damage equal to your, tar to your target equal to your missing HP. Oh, is there anything, like, that has to do with the uh, percentage of their missing HP? I feel like I would like that a little bit more for us. Yeah, I mean, like, all of our damage, I don't really care about reducing their defense is, is really my thing. I, I, I'm taking all the money. Because, sure, basically. What do we upgrade? What kind of options do we have? There is... Chains to deal additional 50% damage to your target. Yeah, it's cool. 
Uh, what is this? Every nine times you attack. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty fun. Increase your speed by 6% per second. Um, let's see. Hmm. Viscous goo. Ooh, Saint's Val? Sixty percent chance to be disarmed. Let's try that out. Sixty percent chance it, 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 to make them lose their attack speed over time. So they like they not only can they not attack. Wait. Uh, Fourteen morale. A hundred gold for my super special boot. No, this is like the nerve of some people. The nerve of some people. No way. Oh, it's the mercenary crew. There's Barba the Exalted in addition to everybody else. Your attack changes randomly after each attack. If you have no allies, your attacks cause the target to bleed. Okay, I don't like that. Deal 100% attack damage. Shoot. Silence and Ruin. Anybody heal? Nobody heals. Fifth damage. That's, that's less than this poison. So what we're going to do, we're going to wait until we do... We get our first duplicate there. Okay, now we poison all. Now we poison all. You know, tis what tis. That all of the poison should have been duplicated over there. You may die. Okay, but we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's our first time fighting the mercenary crew. That's pretty cool. Eh? Eh. I have an idea. about who to give some of these items to. I feel like we have a perfect a perfect character who likes mass attack speed is semi tanky. We could do that. Or we could get like the pyromancer. I feel like we need someone who's just quasi tanky. Right? Sure. I do want to do a run with a cleric at some point soon. Make haste. All heroes do 20 piercing damage to attackers. Elites and bosses have 10% less max HP. I feel like HP pools are not that big of a deal to me. Let's go with the piercing. I've, I've not tried that. Do not remember. You guys like magic. Do you like magic? Do you like magic? So we're going to give you the speed, and then we're also going to move this over here, because that just seems like a thing you'd like. Um, okay. Deal damage to your target equal to your current HP. Wow. Wow. Okay. I mean, I don't like this. I don't think this is going to go well down on the bottom, but... Spread the love, I guess. Eh? Oh, God. Oh, yep. That's slam. Shoot. Well, poison should be spreading here. We should be fine. Uh, we lost a little bit more than I would have liked, obviously. Your attacks have a 40% chance to stun your target. I mean, like... That seems huge for the Berserker. Makes him into a little bit more of a, uh, a supporting class there. 
This is a this is a unique day where we don't have that much uh, in the way of healing, especially if the Berserker is not the target of damage. All enemies are silenced. All right. Should be fine. No. Oh! We like we we are king of uh, you know, being alive for uh, or having everybody live except for one. <laughs> Basically is uh, is what we are the king of. 40 gold. Let's take it. Let's take that instead. Let's check up to the top. How how do we fare against a the mage stuff here? We do want to make sure, like, don't get me wrong. I, I know the backseating is saying the stuff about, well, if you want to duplicate the poison, what about that? But it does, uh, in theory, the catalyst should duplicate the poison on everybody, right? In theory. So it should be duplicating the one that he's targeting, right? One would think. And if that's not how it works, then quite frankly, I don't think that that's me being dumb per se. I think it's just phrased weird then. Because it does does the damage to all enemies and duplicates nine random poison effects. So it shouldn't matter if they're attacking the same target. It shouldn't matter. In theory, it shouldn't matter. Double damage if they have shield. Steal. Steal shield. Don't care. Don't care. Attackers take 15 piercing damage. Um, you know, tis with tis. We just give it our all here. I mean, he's this man. This man do be healing pretty well. He 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 does a pretty good job of keeping himself alive. Like, really, oh my god. Our whole thing is just about staying alive long enough for this ramp-up stuff to really pop off. Come on. Come on. That purge must have been clearing our poison, wasn't it? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to hope that we were kind of just hard countered there. I mean, we obviously we were, but... Transform Zephyr's Pendant. Upgrade. What's that? What is that? That. Transform. Okay. Uh... Gain two items, lose six morale. It's a good trade. I, I, I'm i going to pass, though, because I feel like we are kind of in frail territory. I don't know how many more elites we really need to go for, because I don't know how many more situations where I really feel like we truly need big upgrades. You know? Gain Realm Tooth. Okay. I don't know what Realm Tooth is. All heroes gain 20 attack in the next combat? Where are we? Right here? It's a pretty good pass. I. Uh, it's a very good pass. All attacks have a 20% chance to heal all heroes for 20% of your max HP over 10 seconds. Ooh, what? And we have Cure also. I 
I mean, I feel like that's really, I think that's really important to make sure that that gets upgraded for ourselves. Um, that stun seems pretty important as well. You don't, you're missing an item. <laughs> you, you don't even have a, a full item set. All right. Take this. Take this and smile about it. Trying to picture a world... There's a world where we can maybe make it to the boss with the attack damage upgrade. Oh, well. But it, it, it involves dodging so much combat. Maybe that's not a problem, though. Maybe that's not a problem. Right? You know what I'm saying? We're probably going to have a fight, though. Hmm. Get stupid. We're we're going glass cannon on this fool. Okay, so we have to get to. Maybe we get if we get to the elite battle. Like that's a different story. If we can get there, I feel like we're going to run into a fight though. I I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Right? Like I can't. We have to remember that we still have to do the cure all. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's try the elite combat. Gain the veil of the Holy Mother. Two heroes are doomed next combat. I mean, if we had the upgrade of this, that would have been great. Veil of the Holy Mother to lose eight morale. I don't know what the veil of the Holy Mother is. I'll take the speed, I guess. Oh my God. I don't, I just I don't even know what it is. So how am I going to know? All right, so rotate your weapon, strike two additional adjacent enemies, disarm your target, move your target. So these, this is 100% just like do this territory. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, all things considered, this is probably going to go okay. Yeah, this is fine. That, that ramp up is, is really good. Immunity to burn, bleed. Burn, poison, and bleed. Eh? Eh? I think we take that. Right? And whose passive do we upgrade? Probably not you. Well. Sure. All right. <laughs> this is um this is definitely the least confident I've been. God dang it, man. Okay. This sucks. Okay, are we healing? We are healing. Sp Come on, spread that poison. Not good. Okay, okay, that guy's dead. We're getting that healing over time. Huge amount of healing over time. You're knocked down, but you'll get up again. Ugh. Start a combat gain, two negates. That's very tempting. How good is this really? You know? And also, should we just... Get that instead? For nine times you attack. Do 50% attack damage. I don't know, man. 
I think we take this, I guess. I don't know who to put it on. Probably... Oh, hell. How much is that heal helping us? I feel like it's pretty important. Okay, so you're taking the brunt of the damage. Whoever's down here takes the brunt of the damage. But what's up with this? Is this is this a bad call? Let's see. Remove a random positive effect from your targets. Yeah, 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 yeah. And stun your target for a second. Gain 100 defense. All enemies targeting an ally below 50% change their target to you. All allies gain a major blessing. Apply bleed to enemies in the front row. Apply silence to enemies in the back row. Uh, you know, there's there's something to be said about having him up there so that we can ignore the stun. I mean, this is it's gonna be grim. Let's get that healing, please. Okay. It got it got removed. It got removed from him. The you know the one where we really 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 wanted him to have it. The fact that that poison. Okay, what happens when you lose this fight? So what happens when you lose this fight? God, the fact that that got removed from him was. So that's an instant kill, huh? So that's an instant kill, huh? The fact that, yeah, we got that healing over time, the big healing over time, the one that's like 30, what is it, 20% of our max HP uh, to everybody, the fact that it got removed from him was pretty rough. What did we learn today? Ouch. Uh, we learned probably, I, I think that going all in, well, first of all, this is annoying. I did not want, I would not have picked this. Um, no way. I don't know what the other options were, but that's probably one of the least likely ones for me to pick at the moment. Um, I don't think this is a great option either, but we did we just didn't get great options for those. Uh, but what we learned most of all, of course, is the fact that it doesn't... You need to have two units that can really take a hit. And if you're going to have a tanky unit like the uh like the juggernaut you need raw stat items on them i i really think you do like because he was getting absolutely shredded destroyed uh, just completely destroyed and i guess it's due to the fact that we were putting all of our damage on, directing it to him because of the outlaw uh i think that that is a good call for a, a plan that outlaw idea. Also, these two together is, quite frankly, filthy, disgusting, super, super strong. Uh, but if we, we needed another tankier unit, uh, we needed to make the berserker tankier than he was, I think. Uh, brawler, corruption two to unlock. Ooh, so he's at the tank table. He's at the tank table. That would be really exciting. Because I feel like, yeah, there's not a lot of... We don't have a lot of diverse options in the tanky field for now. Um, I don't know. Maybe if we did... Maybe we do bring in a tanky wild mage at some point or something like that. Um, hmm. 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 Yeah, I mean, it, 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 the big issue was the tanking. We really needed to change change that up there. That's for sure. Uh, but alas, alas, Outlaw is a very cool and unique character, and I enjoyed it. I, I enjoy him very much. I think that that was a great character. I, I will probably try and slot him into my next team as well. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try and rock him as a... Try to rock him as a uh, more tanky unit next time. But you see the Toxic Bolt, and you see that raw damage. You see the raw damage that we could do with the Alchemist. Like, 
in the event of a long lasting fight that damage is probably darn near unmatched in this game <laughs> i would imagine <laughs> but you need a front line that will literally just live you just need a front line that will just literally live and then you're you're golden but we, we didn't have that. We didn't have that, and that's all there is to it. But that is going to do it for today. This has been Astronarch. If you care or are s sassy or snippy about anything that I did wrong or any decision you didn't like that I made, buy the game yourself. There's a link at the top of the description. Go get it and go play it yourself and uh, and, and do it do it better if you've, got, if you've got issues. I very much encourage you to do so because the game is fantastic. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.